Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is the 9th of December, and it's a kind of a special feast day today. Today we celebrate the conception of the most holy mother of God, the Theotokos, and uh, the troparian for today. Today the bonds of barrenness are broken. God has heard Joachim and Anna. He has clearly promised them that beyond hope they would bear a divine child by whom the uncircumscribable one was born as a mortal man, who commanded the angels to cry to her, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. And here he is in all his magnificence, Jonathan Nichols this morning. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Okay. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant in us also the fear of thy blessed commandments that, trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee, for thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Today's first reading is from Galatians, chapter 4, verses 22 to 27, found on page 1594 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Let us attend. For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, and he of the free woman through promise, which things are symbolic. For these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar, for this, Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to Jerusalem, which now is and is which now is and is in bondage with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren, you who do not bear. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For the desolate has many more children than she who has a husband. The word of our Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our second reading for the day is Luke chapter 8, verses 16 to 21, found on page 1379 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Let us attend. No one. When he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand, that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will, be re that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and whoever does not have, even what he seems to have will be taken from him. Then his mother and his brothers came to him and could not approach him because of the crowd. And it was told to him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. And do it. The word of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Let's say hi. Let's say hello. Well, let me see. Well, over here in the corner pew, we have, oh, we have an old, old friend. I haven't seen Zarina in a long time. Good morning, Zarina Kellogg. Good morning to you. 
And there's Barb Anderson. Good morning to you. Boy, it's nice to see Zarina. And uh, in the main aisle, we have, uh, let me see, we have another old friend come to visit us this morning. Rizan, good morning to you. And he says, glory to God Almighty, his grace is all sufficient for us all. Amen. Amen. And let me see, Kurt Lytle, good morning, dear prayer family. May our risen Lord bless each of us today according to our needs. Amen. Oh, he adds, remember, if you care, like and share. Amen. It makes a difference, folks. It makes a difference. And there's my little sister, Lena May. And uh, let me see. Katrina Salas, good morning. Prayers for a better day for me, please. Also, happy Blessed Name Day to all who celebrate their name day today. Yep, and let me see. We pray for Katerina, Lord. Bring her a healing and make her a lot better than she is. She suffers from epilepsy. There's my other little sister, Nellie Cartvelli. Good morning. And there's Deb Owen. Good morning to you. And Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. I'll bet you'll be hearing more from Karen in a little bit. And over here in the Annex, Catherine Houston. Good morning, dear prayer family. I missed you yesterday. Glad to be back this morning. Glad to have you back. Mm. Yeah. And she adds, blessed feast day. And there's Earl and Vicki Winter down there in Nashville. Good morning, Steve and everyone from Vicki and Earl. And good morning, Violetta. Good morning, Robin and Pippin. <laughs> Robin and Pippin. Good morning, friends. Uh, enough voice. Pippin can hear me, and grateful for hand signal commands. Getting better. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome. And there's Amber Tremaine. Good morning. Elione Shanera, here to remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is not forever shall be. Man. Good morning. Uh, good. Where she jumped to there. Good morning, Steve, Jonathan, Catherine, Earl, Violetta, Robin, Amber, and everyone. And uh, let me see here. Murray Kane from Dublin. Oh, I keep wanting to say Dublin, Ohio, but it's Dublin, Ireland. Good morning to you. He had a little smiley face there. And uh, Elioni says, Blessed Feast Day and Happy Friday to you all. Amen. Amen. And uh, Zarina says, Good morning to you and all. Thank you. God bless you and your family and friends and all. Through Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, I offer prayer and intercession to all. Amen. Nice, nice to see Reason and uh, uh, Serena with us this morning. It's great. So, well, would you lead us in prayer, my friend? Oh, it's an honor. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God. Glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, Comforter, and the Spirit of Truth. Who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy. Holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From my bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. 
Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear, let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou was not wroth with me. Slothful and sinful as I am, neither have you destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that I, at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of my understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, in the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies, tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all. The Eternal Father, with thine, all, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet and to bless thee, O Theotokos, who are ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption did bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, Grant me the, thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all are sent by thee. 
Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of, the, of this day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Most holy God, I pray and beseech you, give me a pure heart, a way of speaking that befits the faith I profess. Grant me uprightness of purpose, powers of reasoning unhindered by passions, conduct that becomes those who fear you, and perfect knowledge of your commandments. May I enjoy health in body and in spirit. Grant me a life of peace, genuine faith, and living hope, sincere charity and bountiful generosity. Patience that knows no bounds in the light of your truth to proclaim your goodness to me, that forever and in all things, placing my trust only in you, and I may abound in every good work, and that in Christ your gifts may increase in every soul. For to you belong all glory, honor, and majesty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Please give the blessings to you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the honor. Uh, have a blessed day, everybody. Well, uh, hold it. We've got to say good morning, Lisa Itzel. She joined oh. us from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Cool. And Rob King over there in Virginia. Good morning to you. And let me see. We had some. Oh, yeah. Anastasia from Melbourne, Australia. Greetings from Australia, beloved church family. Thanking God for all of you. Amen. And she continues. Continued prayer, please, for James, who is in the hospital with mental health issues. And Lord, we pray for James. We yeah. pray, dear Lord, that you bring him your peace that you heal him of these mental health issues and bring him home safely and healthy. We pray for that. Amen. There. So, now you can say good morning and go to your pew. <laughs> okay, thank you, Steve. Well, blessings. Uh, I, I, I do have to, to put a little interjection on something. When, when you do that, the, the uh, blessing that in... in uh, Orthodox circles and Orthodox Jewish circles, they put their hands up like this, and and the the rabbi or priest who's who's presiding puts it over the entire congregation and and, and gives that blessing before uh -huh. they dismiss. And everybody's got to be bowed down. Everybody's got to have their eyes closed. Okay. So I just wanted to just let you know about that little trivia. When I become a Rabbi, I'll do that. <laughs> well, you already are. You're <laughs> you're a holy rabbi according to the the uh, order of Melchizedek. Well, I don't know about that. One. <laughs> we'll God bless you. Have a good God day. God bless Steve. you. You too. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good day. You too. Well, this is when we pray for each other. So I can take this out of my ear, and uh, Lord, we ask that you uh, have mercy on those who we are about to pray for. And, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Catherine Man Maniai. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but, Lord, we pray for her. We pray for uh, Beatrix and Emily and her children. We pray for Alexander for health, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. We pray for Father Stefan and Father Arkady at their Mission Parish in Pokayev, uh, Icon Mother of God Parish in Florida. And let me see. Lord, we pray for Kim DeForest for a healing from that Crohn's disease. We pray for her daughter, Megan, for a healing from cancer. We pray for their son, Ross. He suffers from that uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. And we pray for the uh, husband and father, Jack, or John, Lord. We pray for him. Keep him healthy and strong. We pray for Nelvia Agnew down in Arkansas, Lord. She's in the hospital. Cancer, Lord. We pray that you give her a healing and bring her home. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Gary Ballard. We pray for him and his wife, uh, Stefania, and we pray for their health. We pray for the health of their parents, Mary, Ella, and Ellis. And we pray for uh, 
Gary, and Stefania's uh, children. Uh, Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Raynard. We pray for their academic career and life pursuits. May they be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those around them. And Lord, we ask that you give Gary strength and focus to complete his assignments. And we pray for Kevin McCurchin as he recovers from his stroke. Lord, we pray for uh, Maria Mosseri and her family, Lord. Keep them healthy and strong. We pray for Adina as Maria's sister-in-law. She's going through chemotherapy. We pray for Maria's husband, Savarillo, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. We pray for Catherine Houston. Good morning, Catherine. Well, Lord, we pray for Catherine, for her health. We pray for healing for her sister, Patricia. We pray for Susan, who's being treated for bone cancer. We pray for Kathy, Lord, to return to our faith and become her best self. We pray for Thomas Duffy, that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for Catherine's son, Brandon, and his wife, Nicole, and their daughter, and Catherine's granddaughter, Poppy Rose. We pray for Catherine's uh, daughter, Lexi, for her health. We pray for her cousin, John. And, Lord, we pray for Nadine. And we pray for uh, Michelle, Donna, Keith, and Kevin. They each suffer from cancer. And we pray for Jan Novak, who you healed from cancer. Thank you. Lord Michael and Joyce Rager ask to pray for Janice Proctor, who suffers from lung cancer. Well, Lord, we pray for my family. We pray for uh, my granddaughter, Anna. We pray for uh, my granddaughter, Sarah. And Lord, we pray for Maureen, my daughter, and uh, her family. And we pray for Christina, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of my wife, Sharon. We pray for our friends, Ann Bradner, Jim and Ann Robinson, and Gary Fisher. Lord, we pray for Lena May, my little sister, Lord, down there in Pennsylvania. We pray for her health and a healing for her. For this we pray. And we pray for her husband. We pray for Jennifer and Stephanie, their daughters. And we pray for Charlene, who you healed from cancer, Lord. We pray that you keep her cancer free. Pray for my my friend and brother, Bernie Grand, Lord, for his health. And uh, he's having a little rough time right now, com coming off some medications, Lord. So we pray that you help him. And we pray for the health of his mother as well. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep her out of the hospital. We pray for our sister, Karen Kalanovich, over there in Santa Cruz, California, Lord. We pray for her, for her health and a healing for her. We pray for her children and her grandchildren. Keep them all healthy, Lord. And we pray especially for Gabe and George, two grandsons, Lord. We pray that you keep Gabe safe. He's in the Marines over in Japan. And we pray for the health of George and a healing for him. Lord, we pray. We pray for Kenzurga. We pray for her and her sister for their good health. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. Lord, we pray for Catherine Salcedo. We pray for Catherine Salcedo, Lord. Having a rough time with her and her family, Lord. We pray that you give that family your peace. We pray for Catherine, Raphael, Bianca, and Rodrigo, and little Isio, and for John and his family. And, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Zarina Kellogg, who's with us this morning. And uh, she's got a bunch of grandchildren there, five or six by now. Oh, she's had five. I'm sure she's got more by now. We pray that you keep them all healthy and strong. Well, Lord, at St. Michael's, we're praying for uh, Paul Peters, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Ethel Peters, and that whole family. That you comfort and console them. We pray for that. We pray for Aziza Barutis, Stella Susuris, Enum George, Mary Malark, Barbara Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Stephen Sharon Toby, Joseph Madiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabera, Marion Canali, Cooper Wolf, Jorge Luqua, Curia Jane Solberg, Curia Jocelyn, we pray for Dory Harris, Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert D'Arsenio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph, John Nicholson. We pray for Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for George Michaels. And Lord, we pray for uh, Rennie, Rennie Abraham, Lord. We pray for her as well. We pray, dear Lord, that you give them all good health and healings where necessary. Lord, we pray that you give them your peace. We pray for our sister Carmi Simeone over there in Geneva, New York, New York, Lord. Please keep her healthy. 
We pray for Rob King over there in Virginia, Lord. We pray for his health. We pray for the health of Tucker as well. And we pray for Rob's children and grandchildren. We pray for their health and we pray that they come to you in faith. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we pray for Rob's sister Dixie, that you help her with her struggles. And we, Lord, we pray for Judy, that she remains cancer-free after you've healed her. Thank you. We pray for Earl and Vicki Winter over there in Nashville. We pray for their health and the health of Vicki's parents, Martha and Jimmy, down in Tupelo, Mississippi. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay and Lindsay's friend Donna. We pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. And Lord, we pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffer from cancer. Lord, we pray for our sister, Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. We pray for Barb Anderson and her family for their good health. We pray for that, especially for her son, Archpriest Michael, who had cancer. You healed him. Now we pray that he remains cancer-free. We pray for uh, Frances Pappas down there in Greenville, South Carolina, Lord. We pray for her health and the health of that family, especially for Dimitri, who's awaiting a kidney transplant, Lord. We pray that that happens soon. We pray for a childhood friend of uh, Francis's, that's Flora, and she suffers from cancer. We pray for Francis's parish, St. George's Parish in Greenville, South Carolina, together with Father Tom, Father Mike, and the whole congregation there. Lord, we pray for Gloria Drummond. We pray that you keep her healthy and strong. We pray, for Lord, for... Uh, uh, Joseph Horath and David and Samantha for their health. And we pray for Natalia Klaus over in the Netherlands, Lord. And we pray that you send her the Holy Spirit to help her and strengthen her. And we pray for the health of her family. And thank you for healing her father. Thank you. We pray for Stravula Batskos, Lord, who just had surgery. And Lord, uh, we pray that for full recovery for her. We pray for Father Mark, also had surgery. And we pray for full recovery for him. We pray for Savrula's husband, Ilya. And Lord, we pray uh, for that whole family. We pray for Marie. We pray for Uncle Demetrius who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, uh, Valitzia, Lord. We pray for her good health. We pray for Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. We pray for Aaron. We pray that you heal and strengthen his heart. And we pray for George, who suffers from cancer. Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton down in Ocala, Florida. We pray for her, uh, for her health and her special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and Felicia's family. We pray for Maria's son-in-law, Robert, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Morris, for his health and special intentions. And Lord, we pray for Marilyn, that you heal her heart. We pray for jo Joanne Taylor, who suffers from cancer, Lord. We ask that you heal her. We pray for our catechumens, that they continue to grow in faith in you. At the Holy Spirit uh, Parish in Venice, Florida, we pray for Thomas, Ann, Curtis, and Craig. At uh, All Saints of Alaska Parish in Homer, Alaska, we pray for Ken and Nancy Klein. We pray for Eric at the Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for the catechumens at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for the uh, catechumens at St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for the uh, catechumens at... Uh, St. George's Parish in uh, Fresno, California. They are Kenneth, Madison, Justin, and Karen. We pray for the catechumens at St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky. All 49 of them. Can you imagine that? 49. And they include Alex Shanera. So, Lord, we pray for them. And, Lord, we pray for the uh, catechumens at St. Michael's Parish in Geneva, New York. We pray for Jonathan Butterfield Nick and Jackie Rose and their children. Lord, we pray for our sister Tina Showalter for her health and her ministry. And uh, we pray for her husband, John, that you bring him back to good health. We pray for Tom Abraham. Lord, we pray for him and for his family. Keep them all in good health. And we thank you for all that you have done for Tom's granddaughter, Bryn May. Thank you, Lord. And she was born with a heart defect. Lord, we pray for Joyce Marie and her husband Tim for their health. We pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group and that you hear our prayers, Lord, and be glorified in them. Now, Joyce also asks to pray for her sister Janet that she remains cancer-free and for uh, her mother, Granny Joyce, for her health. And we pray for all of their children and grandchildren for your mercy and grace and that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray especially for Jolene and Jeremiah 
that their households be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and that they follow your leading. And Lord, we pray for uh, Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free after you've healed him. And Lord, we pray for uh, Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continue to grow in faith in you. We pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together Father Mark, Mary Mary's Market, and the whole congregation there. We pray that they flourish and grow. We pray for that. We pray for your blessings, Lord, on All Saints Parish in Chicago, together Father Andrew, Father Patrick Reardon, and the whole congregation there. Lord, we pray for Joanne Manaski for her health, and uh, we pray for her cousin Mark, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. We pray for a, f a family friend, Claire. We pray for Claire, Lord, to heal her of cancer. Lord, we pray for uh, uh, Joanne's daughter, Erin, and her husband, Andrew. We pray that you help them with their struggles. We pray for uh, Joanne's son, Corey, and her three brothers, Eugene, Stephen, and Paul. We pray for their health. We pray for the health of Madison. That's uh, Joanne's great niece and a healing for her. Lord, we pray for Rachel for full recovery from her accident. We pray for Joel, who has fallen asleep, Lord. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. Now, Lord, we thank you for healing Jackie and Bev from their cancers. Thank you. We pray for uh, Randy, uh, who has cancer, Lord. We pray for Randy's caregiver, Jude. And we pray for the health of Jack, and thank you for, for making him cancer-free. And we pray that he remains cancer-free. Well, Lord, we pray for Amy and Eric Green down there in Lynchburg, uh, Virginia. Lord, we pray for them. We pray for their health, their faith, and Eric's business and Amy's students, and we thank you for them. We pray, dear Lord, for Eric and Amy's uh, two daughters, Sarah and Natalie, and future son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for Amy's mother. Lois, Lord, for her health, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We pray for uh, Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace. We pray for their health. We pray for Amy's uh, brother, Rick, and his crew, first responders. We pray that you keep them safe. And we pray for uh, Randy, Lord, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. Amen. And, Lord, we pray for Tabitha, Austin, and little baby Naomi. Lord, Keep that family healthy. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean for their health and endurance. We pray for Christina and Teresa for relief from those continual migraine headaches, Lord. We pray for that. Relieve them of their pain and suffering. We pray for Lauren and Ryder, mother and son, Lord. We pray for their health and healings. And Lord, we pray that Lauren can find a good place to live. We pray for little, little two-year-old Levi, Lord, who suffers from cancer. We pray for him for a healing for him and things are going good and we thank you for that and we pray for his parents dustin and jessica we pray that you give them strength and hope and courage we pray for bell andrea and their families for healing and strength we pray for pam jay and christina for healings and we pray for rosemary and imogene they're both in uh, nursing homes lord and we pray that you protect them and keep them healthy we pray for our sister debbie owens up in lyons new york good morning deb well, Lord, we pray for Debbie that you make life a little less complicated and less stressful for her. We pray for that. We pray for success for her private practice. We pray for the health of her father. And, Lord, we pray for Debbie's husband, Matt. And we pray for their children. We pray for Amaya, Clara, Gio, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray for them. And uh, that you send them the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen them in their lives. And we pray, dear Lord, they come closer to you and make good decisions in their lives. And we pray especially for J.O. that you send him the Holy Spirit as well. Well, Lord, we pray for Debbie's friends, Yelena and Masha. And we pray for their health. And we pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. Now let's see if Joseph Khalil is here. And, oh, I don't see Joseph this morning. I don't see George. I don't see Joseph this morning. Oh. Well, Lord, we pray for Joseph Khalil. We pray, dear Lord, for him, that you keep him healthy and protect him. We pray, dear Lord, for his ministries, that they continue to be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those around him. We pray for that. We pray for his two sons, Toby and Luke. 
We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them, guide them, and strengthen them in their lives. We pray that you keep Luke free from all infections. We pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. We pray for Joseph's mother, Odette, for a healing. We pray for Joseph's wife, Renea, for her health and a healing for her as well. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister, Robin Armstrong, who is under the weather. So, Lord, we pray that you bring her back to good health and uh, keep her safe. We pray for Pippin, too, Lord. We pray for him. Well, Lord, we pray for Robin and Pippin. And Pippin. Keep them healthy and strong and protect them. We pray for Robin's uh, father, Robert, or Bob. We pray for him. He has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Carolyn, and that whole family that you comfort and console them. And, Lord, we pray for Malia, the young lady with a brain tumor. We pray for healing for her. And, and things are going pretty good with Malia, so thank you, Lord. And, Lord, we pray for Malia's mother, Lori, for her health. And we pray that you bring Francis back to good health. Lord, we pray for Jonathan Nichols, our brother. Thank you for him. And, uh, Lord, we pray and we thank you for healing him of cancer. Now we pray that you keep him cancer-free. We pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina for their health. And we pray, the Lord, for Caitlin, especially that you strengthen and heal her heart. Stefan Bennett asked to pray for our uh, spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flock during this very, very trying time. So, Lord, I pray for Father Gregory at St. Michael's, my parish. Pray for Father Constantinos and his ministry at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. We pray for Father Antipas and his ministry in Nairobi. We pray for Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. We pray for Father Demetrius Leosis at St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. Lord, Amy Green asks to pray for Father Joseph. He's at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg, Virginia. We pray for Stelios, two priests, Fathers Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for Father Simon, that's Christina Hunter's priest. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Michael and Joyce Rager's priest, Father Daniel Hackney. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Suriel, and for her godson, Father Nick. We pray for Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short. We pray for Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's near Houston. We pray for Alioni's two priests, Fathers Ephraim and Lucas. We pray for Gary Ballard's priest, Father Thomas Newland. Amy Green asks to pray for Father Sam and Father Jeremy. We pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. And Lord, we pray for Father John Parcells. Uh, Robin Armstrong's priest at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. So, Lord, we pray for these priests. We pray for their ministries, for their health, and for their families. We pray for the ministry, health, and uh, family of Mother Elizabeth. And we pray for our bishops, Bishop Sava, Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. We pray for their ministries, for their health, and uh, their families, Lord. Amen. Now let's go around and see if there's any other prayer requests this morning. And Zarina, Heavenly Father, heal quickly and completely so they all may be able to give testimony to your loving healing grace through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And over here, over here. Wilson Salviejo. Good morning, everybody. Please pray for me, a sinner. We pray for you. We pray to your Lord for Wilson and all of us, Lord. But we pray for Wilson and his family especially, Lord. Keep them all healthy and strong. And Mother Gregory, his brothers and nephews and sister-in-law. We pray for them all. And let me see here. I've got to go up here for a little bit. There we go. Karen Kalinov is praying for us all to have opportunities amen, to share Christ's love and peace, especially during the Advent season. 
Thank you, Karen. And let me see here. And over here. Let me see here. And Jonathan, Jonathan Nichols says, Happy Mima to Catherine Houston. Yeah. And Catherine says, I'm going to see Poppy Rose and family. They will be in Florida soon for several days. Woo-hoo. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Jonathan, of course, is back in his pew. And Amber Tremaine. Robin, miss seeing you and Pippin. Lord speed your healing. Yes. And... Uh, And Amber, Amber Tremaine from Snohomish, Washington. Hello, Elioni. I presume both of your eyes have healed completely since your cataract surgeries. We pray for that. And uh, let me see here. Oh, Amber's mother, 93-year-old mother, had uh, knee replacement surgery the other day. And she, let me see. The surgery went well, and she had a terrific day yesterday. Thank you, Lord. And and Amber, say, please pray for our friend Richard. I've mentioned him before in our prayers. He's homeless and moved to a different state. He's not been in touch for three weeks. We're very concerned. Lord, we pray for Richard that he uh, finds a good home and that he is... Uh, safe. We pray for that, Lord. Please protect and keep safe, Richard. Amen. And looking back over here and here. Okay, so Lord, we ask that you remember and have mercy in all those that we have prayed for this morning. Lord, we ask you, we ask you, to, Lord, that you extend your healing hands and all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing your grace and your love as we give you our love. And Lord, we pray that um, the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, on this, and the anniversary of the feast of her conception, that uh, she remembers us in our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And uh, Lord, the Holy Father, heavenly physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death. Visit and heal your servants, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you grant them release from pain and suffering and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. So we'll see you all again this evening. Kurt and I will be back this evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. And maybe Zarina will join us. Wouldn't that be? And Reason. And Reason, yes. And uh, then uh, we'll all be back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for morning prayers. For morning prayers uh, at 8 a.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. So until then, it's important that you remember two things. One. God loves you, and he really, really, really does. And number two, we all love one another. And yes, we really, really, really do. Now until this evening, may God bless us all. Let's have a great day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. See you tonight. Oh, give thanks unto God.